Quiet place. Previously on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, it's time to go crazy! Let's punch three, one, two, one, 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 tra la 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 la, talent trot. See, hey, hey, ahoy this. Ahoy, Captain! Baron Bird be pecking me in the booty. Right in the booty! Uh, oh, excuse me. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby! Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby! Oh, sorry guys. Welcome back, finally! I'm telling you, man, it took me forever to let's play Banjo-Kazooie! Yeah! Goodbye, sailor. You're not wanted here. Now, as you can see from last time, that crazy little inhaling uh, lifesaver that was, like, trying to kill me is no longer here, and in case you all are wondering why he's not, I ate him. That's right. I ate no, actually. If you guys um, have seen my vlog, just in case you haven't, this is a quick update from the future to the past or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to sound really weird, honestly, whenever I do this, but uh, my computer, again, had the issue, yada yada, blah 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 blah, and because it had the issue, I lost the files, including the recorded file I had of me completing Rusty Bucket Bay, so that's kind of the bummer, is I have to redo this, but in another sense, it's actually a good thing, because when I look back on it, I'm like, eh, the commentary was kind of dry in that, to be honest. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't, I'm not ever, like, prone to make dry commentary, because I know not everything I have to say is entertaining. I'm the silly man. But I am kind of glad I do have a second chance, in a sense, to kind of remedy my mess that I made of this, because I'm not exactly... Uh, I, th I forget what I did. I think the most entertaining thing I did was I started singing badly, at my dad, singing the Drake and Josh theme song. It's gonna take some time to realize that... Oh, yeah. Let's not do a repeat of it, shall we? Okay, so, we went in there, we stopped that switch, and we got a honeycomb ring. I'm sorry, I should be talking gameplay talk, but <laughs> I get distracted easily. Um, that was pretty much... We were inside that little building over there. There are some things I did miss. I did happen to notice this, finally. Of course, after reviewed my work. So this time around, I won't have to go fumbling around like in the last recording I did of this, trying to find the blessed thing. Uh, the first thing I missed was in here when I dropped in the win smashed the window and all that. There was a jiggy right over here, actually. If you go ahead and grab that. <laughs> gold nuggets! I got my gold nuggets back! Oh, sweet, sweet gold nuggets! I've missed you so much! I love my golden nuggets! Yes, I do! Okay, yeah, sorry. I've missed doing that so badly. I've needed to get my cup of crazy on, man. I had me a couple cups of coffee earlier today, so I should be set. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, seriously, though, I, I feel really good because I actually did a... I went on a nice, like, 30-minute walk. And I know that sounds like... Pff, what a big deal. For me, that's actually quite a big deal because it's... It's really hard for me to be motivated to want to go on a walk. And it's not to say that I can't walk. It's just, it's boring to me. I, I mean, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't find entertainment and just simply go on for walk. I have to have, like, a mission, you know? And, I mean, if I have some place to go, you know, like I have to go somewhere, or be somewhere, then, yeah, I'll be entertained to walk. But, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm weird, I guess. I, I, I'm a person who always thinks, thinks he needs to have a mission or something. By the way, yeah, there's that window I missed, like, not once, but, like, two or three times after busting it open. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, though. I'm just... I'm, actually, you know what? I'll take that back. Yes, I can believe that. You know why? Because I'm just... I'm that ditzy that way. When I get up going and rolling, or I just start acting all goofy... Well, not acting. Because I'm naturally this goofy, honestly. If I get going and rolling, sometimes it's hard to keep me stopped, you know? Ah! No! I don't want to... Crap. Well, looks like we're paying another visit for this room. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on. Get on out of here, man. It's all nasty in here. We don't need to be in here. Ugh. Would you stop swimming in that nasty, disgusting water? I mean, seriously. Well, anyway. Uh, off to the right side over here in Rusty Bucket Bay, there is a ladder. Finally gonna get some gameplay talk. 
least I believe there was. Yeah, right over here, that's what I thought. That is actually where we're heading, and that's, this is where the rest of our stuff is. I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Okay, cool beans. Alrighty, we're gonna find ourselves some musical notes in this nasty green acid. I promise you, if you fall into this, you will not get any powers. I promise you. You don't want to fall in. It's like burning ass. It's like freaking. I don't know how to describe it, but. It's like, um. I don't think of a good description, actually. Hmm. Oh, I know. It's like when you first turn on hot water, and you weren't expecting it to be quite, you know, as hot as you thought it would get, so you end up burning the crap out of your head, and you're like, mm! And then because you burned your hand, it feels so hot that it's actually cold, so then you end up, like, feeling like Katy Perry's, you're hot when you're cold, and you're yes when you're no. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and continue in the clockwise direction I was heading in. Uh, last I checked, I believe that's what we were doing. If not, whoops, my bad guys, you can go ahead and remind me. Dude, that's not what we're doing. You should always know where you're going, even if it's like a few months from now. Well, sorry. As I said, I think my memory is kind of prone to forget sometimes. Alrighty, so we're gonna enter, we're gonna check out the three blue crates that are over here, uh, that are like in the back of the world, actually. And in here, I think there's uh, some musical notes, a mumbo token, and I think that's really all there is. So if you're not really interested in that, and I dare say, move it along, people. There's nothing interesting here. Ow! I forgot that fricker was there. A little turd face. A green glob of goop. A green nasty little sausage. You won't like me when I'm angry! Oh, well, I guess maybe not. <laughs> okay, so, let's see here. I think I'll go ahead and explore the middle one since, uh,. That one seems to be the one that's most tricky to get to. Because we have to get up here. Yes! Indeedy we do! Oh yeah, on my walk that I was on, I know I'm kind of bouncing back and forth here, but my mind's kind of scatter-minded right now, so I'll just kind of roll with it. Um, I happen to see a, like, dog wanted poster, and I always... I don't know about how you guys are when you see those, or if they're, like, cat wanted or pet missing posters. But I always like to try and take time to read them, just in case, you know, I happen to see the animal. Because then I can actually probably call the person saying, Hey, such and such creature was this way, you know. Or if I'm, like, smart enough, you know, or brave enough at that to kind of hold on to the, uh, the little pet. I'll probably see if I can't call him, but to be honest, I have yet to be able to do that because I've yet to find anybody's pet. I think there's something else in here, isn't there? Yeah, up there. i got to figure out how to get up there, though. There it is, there's a mumbo token. I think that's all there is though, isn't there? A decay. I don't know, you're supposed to know this stuff. I'm sorry, man. This place is just so cram-packed. I feel like a sardine in here. I mean, seriously. It's all, like, crowded in garbage. It's like my closet, I need to clean it out, really. It's all messy and just cluttered. Filled with all kinds of junk that needs to go. Okay, I remember this room. If you want an extra man, you can come on in here and grab yourself gold feathers and just go crazy. <laughs> You'll uh, automatically get an extra barren bird if you happen to clobber all those boxes. That's really all I think that's in here. That and I think there's some musical notes. Uh, oh, okay, I guess not in the corner. They're over here. Ah, yes, of course. Here they are. Alright, that just leaves five more, and I know exactly where they're at. They're gonna lead us on, like, a little breadcrumb trail. Straight off to, uh... I wanna say the last Jinjo. And, oh man, really? Alright, well... I just realized there's no way of getting over there unless you take the crane. So, hang on a sec while I get myself over there. Oh, Kidoki, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that, that took a little bit, but, uh, here I am! Love me. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this I forgot how much of a pain in the butt this game this level is about like not having access to every little spot. And you kinda have to go forwards to go back, I guess, in a sense. Then again, I'm kinda glad I, I could just come over here uh using the crane from the ship. Excuse me, because doing that, uh, walking across that M shaped path, I don't think I'd want to do that. Not even in real life, man. I remember a long time ago I was walking 
or not walking, I was hopping on rocks with my cousin one time, and keep in mind, this is like at a late, this is at a ocean-ish kind of area, so there's water spraying constantly on the rocks, and I happened to slip, fall, and it, like scrape my knee all over the freaking rock, and I'm like, okay, now that had to hurt, you know, just, I don't know, it was, it was, it was really painful, so I'm very like, eh, about walking on air with this dude, you ruined the freaking epic dance, oh well. I'll do an epic dance when I get all the musical notes. That's strange. It seems like last time I did the same thing. I thought, didn't I say there's going to be a breadcrumb trip? Um, shooty. Well, there is one thing I do need to get to, actually, and it involves me getting up on this crane again. That's strange, though. That's going to bug the crap out of me. Where are my notes? I have to pass the final exam, and I can't do that if I have no notes to study from. This is problematic, folks. I sense lots of problem, lots of frustration. Yes, indeedy. Okay. So, the other thing I want to go ahead and do, and then I'll go looking for some notes that I th can't quite place a pinpoint where they're at, but I'll find them, I'm sure. Right over here, where that wi top of that thing is, you want to try and get over here as quick as, as like, close to the edge as you can. And then you're going to want to go ahead and jump, flop, flop over there. And then hopefully you land on it, and then stomp the witch switch. And boot to the air. Uh, there's your eighth. Jiggy inside Brunty's lair. Or actually, I think it's your ninth, technically, so... Um, in the meantime, guys, I'll see you in a sec. I gotta go find those five missing notes. I don't know what the heck I did with them, but... I, f I forgot them somewhere, though. So. See you in a little bit. Avasti Harvgubbies! I found my... my mumbo token! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, ha! And I also found where the blessed notes were. That's strange. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I did get... Oh, no, maybe I didn't. No, oh, that's alright. Well, here's my last... Here's the last five notes in Rusty Bucket Bay, guys. Hopefully I can f not fall off of this. I think I actually got them in the last recording. My bad if I did. But I must not have this time. Woohoo! You found all the notes in this world! Well done! Yay! We're finally done with Rusty Bucket Bay! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Looks like Mr. Kool Aid Man. Oh, it's good to finally be done with that place, man. Jeez, McCree, that thing took forever. Alrighty, so we're pretty much about finished with this game. I mean, we got another world and some other odds and ends of crap to do, but we are, like, near the end, and I can dare say, wow, this is awesome. My bellies, it's rather neat. It's years since I've seen my feet. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Somebody needs to do some sit-ups and some walking. Well, actually, more so walking than sit-ups because you might hurt your... Anyway. Never mind. We'll leave that to imagination. Alright, so there is one... Uh, well, actually, there's a couple things I'm going to do before I close off this video. Yeah, I know. Seems like it's only yesterday that I just put this up. No, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves a jiggy. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't get to get extra excited when I got all the notes. Like I said I would. Ah, sorry. So I had to be extra, like, excited when I did that. Alrighty, so we got that. Um, we went ahead, I went ahead and just busted open, like, a rusty, like, uh, opening right there. You want to go ahead and take yourself to the top here, and you'll find the switch here. This switch is timed. You're going to gotta, you're going to want to kind of know where you gotta go. You're actually not going to be in this room at all. You're going to go down below, back into the room where you entered Rusty Bucket Bay in. And where the cauldron guy is as well, the war point guy. And you're going to head off, as soon as you come in here, you're going to go to the right side, actually. So let's go ahead and get up there real quick. I don't know exactly where off to the right side, but it's off to the right side, I know that much. Alright, come on, there's a top here, somewhere. Alright, this cave you cannot reach any time until you hit that switch, as you can clearly see. And... Like I said, you need to get your booty up here as quickly as you can because that switches time, so you won't have all the time in the world. Good, bird, getting good at finding Cheetah. 
the sword of the spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck. So in the burning fire I'll chuck. Uh, find Cheetah which won't. Code you must enter on Sun Castle floor and Treasure Trove Cove is Gold Feathers. Aha, our last code in the game to enter. Yay! Well, technically, but anyway. Um, we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all so much. I'm sorry it's taking me forever to get this, but hey, better late than never. So, see you next time, and don't let your tails fly off.